Construction costs ballooned to $40 million, and the delays were nightmarish. But finally, a field of dreams is open again in Mount Vernon. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has more on the triumph over the struggle to bring it back to life. Glittering in the mid-September sun, it's hard to remember just four years ago, the memorial field site looked like this, a ruin rich with history, where 33 years ago, mean Joe Green filmed one of the all-time great Super Bowl ads. It was uh, the best stadium in the county. Wednesday, Bob Devonzo wore his old semi-pro football jersey and carried a book of memories from his playing days at the field as the ribbon was cut to celebrate Memorial Field's long-delayed reopening. James McMillian runs a youth football program which had to move when the crumbling facility closed in 2009. They told me then I would be back in two years. Now it's 2023. At times, the delays on this project seemed insurmountable. The discovery of toxic soil buried here and the toxic political environment in New York's eighth largest city. One mayor after another, undoing work started by his predecessor. Changes of designs, changes of concepts, decisions that have been wrong, decisions that have been right. In 2018, County Executive George Latimer, a Mount Vernon native, brokered a deal for Westchester to take control of construction, resulting in a playing field and track, tennis courts, and skate park that will benefit generations to come. And we, where we celebrate the incredible and the undeniable persistent and overcoming and resilient spirit of Mount Vernon. The hurdles were many, but Memorial Field is ready to host the Mount Vernon versus Yonkers football game on Saturday. Things are looking up, and it's good. In Mount Vernon, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.